Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. In this video, I will talk about Practice IT Labs and how you can use old and new labs towards your hands-on IT experience. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that our Practice IT Labs also have older labs and new labs. Now, in terms of certification, I'm sure you would like to see anything new because nobody would want to prepare themselves for something older and while there's a new certification available but if you're looking into learning real world skills then you would want to practice on many different scenarios with many different resources available and this is why the practice lab option is perfect because you can actually use the older labs to practice even more so first you need to click on practice IT labs I'm assuming you have already connected and you have already logged in with your membership so when I click on my membership I am already logged in as you can see I'm using premium now with membership plus you get five days trial access to any labs that I'm going to show right now which is kind of like more than 100 labs and uh, with premium you get one year access and anything that gets added to this list you just get access to it uh, during your access time so when you go to the practice IT labs you will see that little new tag so we call new if it's a newer version of that lab so for example 101 is our older um, course for Cisco and the new one is 105 similarly like CCNA which is the 120 and the one that's covered now is 125 so the way I'm going to just check it by going to CCNA current exam. I'm just going to type that and then you can just simply Google it and then that Google will show you right now that these two are the current one as you can see 200 125 and going back to your your lab you can simply come here and say it's 200 125 and the other one is 105 105. Okay, so this is way this is the way you can track what's new you just by coming to this page and let's say to give you just an example uh, of what I was going to cover in this video is how you can use the older labs towards your IT skills while you're preparing yourself for certification also so we have examples right here 301, 401 and 501 501 is the current and latest security plus exam so what you need to do is when you log into your lab uh, environment now you met me asking how did how did I log in I already showed this but I'm gonna quickly show you guys one more time by going to your profile going to dashboard and in dashboard you will see your after when you purchase the membership you will see this labs tab will activate and then after that you will see your access level from here and the link to the lab username password when is it going to expire and it's going to say your you have either full access or you have a trial access and these are the labs that we we will cover now just to see you may not see the full uh, version with it that's how they named it in the API so we really can't change that but by going to your practice labs you can see that you will have access to it so by going down I can confirm that by by looking at my lab right now 301 401 501 so now if I click on 501, um, by clicking on 501, it will turn on all the domain controllers and anything that is required in this lab. So that saves you big time just by setting up things. So then when you need to learn about the certification, you're following this. And we suggest people to have your book ready with it. Or if you're really lo looking to pass certifications, then you need that theoretical side of it too. This is all practical. So now you're looking at this. This is all new stuff. This is all that is going to help you pass your exam. But at the same time, let's say you want more. You, you looked at it, you finished it, and you're like, hmm, you know what? This, this is great. If I click on it and I click on start, after starting, I can see that I'm, I'm, I'm having some brand new stuff right here, like 2012 server. Windows 10, Kali 2016, Fedora, Ubuntu Security Onion, which is really powerful stuff right here, Windows 7 and XP. Now, 
the way this lab is designed of course this is going to have all xp and all that stuff because this is a security lab and you want to know the vulnerabilities and all that kind of stuff this is why it's designed some of the labs we may not have xp in there but again getting back to the point where you want to test more uh, you want to learn more you want to practice more now going back to your older lab if i go here you can see these are totally different scenarios than the one that you're going to see in 501 and this is the best part of using the older labs that for example if you want to go back to this scenario where it says vulnerability scanning and this is a totally different scenario maybe a even older applications or older systems this gives you um, and a, a hands-on experience from something that maybe a company is using a older systems and you they don't have something brand new so you can see they're using Windows 2008 servers and I can tell you at this point so many people are on 2008 they have still yet to migrate to 2012 so another way for someone to explain that I have have hands-on practice on 2008 is much better than saying that I only did something on 2012 I really don't know anything about 2008 so in interview this is gonna make a big impact when you talk about something like this so this is exactly my point is that you can use your older labs having the resources with you and also the new labs for certification and even practice is one of the best things that you can basically use when you are preparing yourself to become an IT pro thank you for watching this video